Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to this first IG experience sessions. I am Stefan Spani, IG Europe user co-chair, and I will have the pleasure to make the introduction to this uh, first IG experience conference. Andreas? Yeah, also very welcome from my side. Uh, I'm Andreas Klingler uh, from Siemens Healthineers and the current IG Europe vendor coach here, representing the vendor side, since uh, from vendor's perspective, it's very important uh, for IHE that uh, IHE is about users and vendors collaborating together uh, to advance uh, healthcare IT. And uh, Stefan will now give an introduction to the IHE Europe experience sessions. Thank you, Andreas. During the various sessions, you will uh, be able to participate during the three days. You will hear a lot about IG. But what, what is the, the, the vision of IG is to enable seamless and secure access to health information. And by providing specifications, tools, and services for interoperability. So it's really to support the users the vendors, the industry, to develop, test, implement standards-based solutions for the health information. IG was established in 1997. That's really the, the global process we try to, to implement and to support. Starting from existing standards, merging them, combining them, complementing them through IG profiles, in order to implement interoperable solutions, to support the testing of interoperable solutions, to support the certification also of uh, existing products in order to support and improve patient care. This has many benefits for different, the different stakeholders, healthcare providers, health authorities. They can benefit from improved workflows, to have access to the information whenever, wherever it's needed, and to reduce implementation costs because they have interoperable solutions and they do not need to implement or to pay for the implementation of specific interfaces between each of their different tools, solutions they are using. For vendors also there are benefits align with the, the product interoperability with the the other uh, industrial partners decrease the cost and complexity of interfaces installation. We know that having to maintain specific interfaces has a high cost also for the vendors and to focus the competition on functionality and service and not on the information transport. For standardi standardization organizations, it's also a way to have a rapid feedback to adjust the standards to the real world so that the standards meet what the users and what the industry are needing. It's also helping in establishment of critical mass for a widespread adoption of standards. Since uh, 97, IG spread over the world we have the two different aspects of IG with the regional deployments from which we have IG Europe federating a certain number of national initiatives, the other regional deployments, North America, Asia, Oceania, and you have the global deployment uh, committees which are developing the profiles. Those are international by nature, they cover, they, are, they have members from various countries. We are supported by professional societies, sponsors, and we have contributing and participating vendors and users contributing to the global development of standards. In all of these committees, you have this duality between vendors and users, which makes the, the work of IG, the result of the work of IG fits to the user's needs and being applicable, implementable by the, the vendors. So it's a win-win solution, win-win situation by having this duality between the vendors and the users. Back to IG Europe, 
21 is a key milestone for IT Europe. First of all, it's the 20th anniversary. IT Europe was created in 2001 already. It's a very important year too, because it's the creation of IG Catalyst, which is a spin-off of the IG Services Committee of IG Europe. Uh, IG Services is becoming a, an independent entity under the name IG Catalyst, and uh, it's really operational now. It was approved, uh, the statutes of the new association has been approved uh, in Belgium on May 20th. So it's very, um, recent that IG Catalyst is operational. It's our 21st Connectaton to online, unfortunately, for the second time. But we have 30 systems, 24 companies, plus four international patient summary vendors, 110 participants, and 31 monitors supporting them online, some of them being together in uh, REN at Kereval. And it's also the first IG experience conference that we hope you will enjoy and we hope to make other editions of this IG experience conference. Conference will have three intensive days and it's you have many different topics. It's first of all a platform for the national initiatives to meet, exchange ideas, learning opportunities from peers and other experts. So you will be able to exchange, to contact the others, to see what is being done in the other countries or in different projects. It's also presentation of best, pra best practices uh, on deplo deployment from implementation from across Europe. It has educational information about IG profiles, about what they, how they can contribute to, especially to the COVID-19 passes and vaccination certificate. It's also the occasion to learn more about IG Firebase profiles and to have some interoperability updates from different stakeholders like the European Commission, Unicom Projects, COSIR uh, Association, Federation of International Pharmacy and others. You have, of course, many other topics. We have 50 speakers uh, which will uh, present during 30 different sessions, all that over the three days from today until Thursday. So I will not be longer. I hope you will enjoy the IG Europe Experience 2021 uh, sessions and do not miss the celebration of the 20 years of IG Europe, which will be held on Thursday at five o'clock. Thank you and I wish you a good uh, experience 21. Yeah, also from my side, uh, let's wish us all a very successful IG Europe experience and also the parallel ongoing Connectathon. And uh, yeah, I'm now handing over to Esther uh, to introduce uh, the upcoming session. <laughs>